Okay, here we go. This might be the best uh, bomber hunter I have flown in War Thunder so far. In a moment of weakness during the holidays, I bought two premium aircrafts, which I have never done before. The American Spitfire and uh, a British Spitfire. Um, and in this particular video, I use the American one, which has a great rate of climb. Uh, the stat card says 31.8 meters per second and a really good turn rate and speed, which is really good when you're gonna hunt fast bombers in uh, a battle rating around uh, 5.0. So right now there's a German bomber who just shut down a friendly aircraft and uh, we have climbed to a pretty good altitude here so we can just intercept him on his way to bomb our airfields most likely and here we steer towards him, we're above him and we just try to go in from a very high angle so we go in with speed this is not the best speed, so I take a few shots from range and then I steer off. Try to get some altitude again. I noticed that the, the gunner of the enemy aircraft became unconscious, so I just dive after him. And now you can see that he's also diving to just do some kamikaze crap on the, the airfield. Uh, so I just go straight after him and I think I will be able to catch up. Yeah, so that's the way to do it. I will show you now how you should not be attempting to kill a bomber. And that is in coming up in a similar speed behind. Then you will probably eat some bullets from the gunners. Uh, I managed to get the kill. I was a bit uh, greedy here, just because he was very close to the uh, to the airfield, and I saw him pretty late. But uh, yeah, you should always go for come with very high relative speed to the other to the bomber, so you can kind of clear his uh, machine gunners. While you're up high, you have a very good uh, visual overview of the battlefield. If you're lucky you can spot some easy targets. Here I see uh, some green uh, tracers which is the telltale sign of a German aircraft so I just dive down see if I can save my ally here and uh, always check my six as well. So my six was clear here so I continued to give chase to this uh, enemy aircraft chasing my ally and uh, I tried a few long range machine gun shots just to scare the enemy into maneuvering in order to save my friend and uh, with that uh, kill in the bag you I, I usually just try to look around a lot because I know that if I've used tracers people are gonna know where I am so I'm trying to spot for targets looking at my score a bit uh, and then I'm trying to see if there's uh, perhaps someone following me since I'm taking only right turns I'm only looking right and I spot a Japanese plane coming in fast dodge him and uh, the dogfight ensues uh, I'm pretty scared here but I saw some extra tracers and there's like a, a bomber coming in for landing very fortunate for me and 
somehow I ended up on the Japanese aircraft's tail. Maybe he got lost. I'm able to, uh, yeah, to kill him. Here's another bomber. He's uh, pretty banged up, so he is gonna do the old suicide uh, airfield uh, bomb. So I'm just, yeah, diving uh, straight after him. I'm uh, not bothering looking behind me because I'm going very fast. And you really want to go super fast when you're dealing with these bombers because of their gunners so I'm just going extremely fast gets the kill super happy the other my allies probably a bit bummed out because they wanted a kill and I climb up and I spot a bomber and I continue climb a bit and I I, uh, yeah, pounce on this guy as well. My speed here is not the greatest. Uh, I guess I could have uh, come from a, a bit higher up. Take some shots. I didn't manage to kill him here, but he's not long for this world. I'm just trying to avoid him doing any damage to our airfield here so I kinda come in for another run get some altitude and I go in from a really nice angle here this is like optimal bomber hunting angle here probably I already dropped these bombs but yeah so I also have the gun conversion set to like a 500 meters uh, since I have my armaments on the wings yeah here I have a bomber to the left uh, and a bomber up high here uh, yeah the bomber up high has already dropped his bomb he's turning back and the bomber to the left is gonna drop his bomb so I'm gonna go for him first yeah but the gun convergence so if you wanna attack bombers you should probably shoot from a bit further away so you don't uh, so you don't get too close because then the gunners will get you so if you have your armaments in the wings put the convergence about 500 meters maybe uh, it works in a dogfight as well uh, so here I take the first bomber and a good kill and now I will try to look for the bomber up high. There he is. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna skip ahead of time a bit. And now we are in hot pursuit. We have him below us. And we make a bit of a dive here. Since he's closing into his base, I'm not taking the, the deepest of dives. I just want to try to get a easy fast kill here, but I fail. So I am having to redo the whole uh, attack again, but he is hurt. It's close enough to be able to and high enough to be able to get to his base. So I'm going for another attack. This is also a really nice uh, angle here. And I'm gonna get some really good speed to, too. Um, and yeah, some good, good accurate shooting. Good job, me. Uh, yeah, so while you're up high, as I said, you can just, you can see the whole uh, 
the whole map almost at this height so we can see if there's any other bombers and uh, you can see any fighters below so you can really dominate the skies here uh, with this climb speed uh, and uh, here I spot something in the in the distance it's a uh, it's another bomber I think yeah it's another bomber make some uh, sloppy shots here uh, and I'm gonna do the attack again and down he goes thank you for watching if you know of a better bomber hunter please let me know bye